Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI the blackboard. So let's get right into this. This is just a simple overview of what the blackboard is and what it's used for. It is part of the behavior tree. It's part of our basic AI in Unreal Engine 4. And all of the individual nodes for the behavior tree and the blackboard will be covered in a separate video. This is just a basic overview of what the blackboard is and how we would use it. So let's get started. So our, B our blackboard. You can access our blackboard under the artificial intelligence section, blackboard. And if we were to go ahead and pull it up, you're going to find it is blank. You only start off with a couple options on your toolbar, the add key option, and then your blackboard details itself. Now, since you can have multiple blackboards, you can go ahead and use inheritance with parent and child. So you could, for example, select another parent blackboard, like my generic one I've created, and it's going to go ahead and inherit the keys from that. Now, if I go ahead and reset it and then delete my self actor, we're back to our generic blackboard. So that's something useful to keep in mind if you want to have blackboards inherit from other blackboards. Now, what is the blackboard? It is, it's a blackboard. It is a chalkboard. It is a piece of paper where you store stuff. That's all it's used for. It's intended to allow your behavior tree to read or set values that can be used in your behavior tree. It's as simple as that. So part of your behavior tree, maybe at the top, will be to find where your player currently is. And another part of it may be determining if your player is even alive. Now, another part of your behavior tree may need to actually do something based on that, such as if your player is alive, go ahead and move to its location. Since these are separate parts, these are separate tasks, or decorators or services in your behavior tree, we need somewhere general to store them. And that's what the blackboard is. It's really simple to use. You basically, new key, choose your type, let's go with a bool for example, and then you name it. We'll go with like, is player alive? And that's it. You now have a blackboard key called is player alive, and you have the following various entries. The name of it, a standard description, the type of the key, and whether it's synced on instances of the blackboard. So if you create more Instances of this blackboard, for example, different AIs, you can use the instant sync to keep it synced across all the different instances. So that way maybe you have one general blackboard value called active and it's synced across all your different ones instead of having to set it individually. So that's what the instant sync is for. And that's it. I can go ahead and add another one. We can name it object like player object and you're going to find it's the same settings. This is all the blackboard's for. It's just to simply hold a value. Bulls are going to hold bulls. Objects are going to hold a generic object, so an actor or blueprint or something like that. You have your different other types, classes, floats, strings, rotators, and etc. And that's it. That's all our blackboard is used for. It's just a container to hold values that are used inside of our behavior tree. So for example, let me go ahead and delete these values. And this is our new Blackboard data. Let's call this one Test Blackboard. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's create a new behavior tree to show this an example. So we'll create a new behavior tree called Test Behavior Tree. Now if I open up our Test Behavior Tree, I need to assign a Blackboard to it. So I'll assign it to our Test Blackboard. Let's go ahead and drag it off of here and let's create a selector. We're going to add a decorator on top of this called Blackboard. And we're going to go ahead and basically, if something is set, we want this selector to run. Now, if we go over here, you're going to find none. You have no Blackboard keys. Because the assigned Blackboard has no keys, we can't actually use any keys inside of our behavior tree. So this is why I was saying your behavior tree needs the Blackboard because your Blackboard holds all your values. If we were to go into here, add a new key. We'll call it bool. Let's do this is player live again and save it out. We go back into our behavior tree. Now in our decorator, we have a blackboard key is player live. And we can go based on if it's set or not. And that's it. 
That's what the behavior tree uses the Blackboard for, and that is what our Blackboard is for, holding values. Maybe inside one of our tasks, like let's say, for example, I have a service here. Uh, I've already created one, so let's throw this in here, called is player live. In here, you're going to see our player live has two variables that we set. One's called is player live, the other's called player object. This is what I name them internally inside of our service right here. This could be called whatever you want. One of the things I noticed was trying to keep things consistent. So for example, if your blackboard variable is, this is the wrong blackboard, let's open up this one. If your blackboard value is, is, is player live, then setting your variable inside your service to is player live makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to assign things because it's really simple. Is player live? Set to is player live. You can also really easily see here an error. I have a player object variable I need to set. And inside of here, my player object variable is the location of the player and it's a vector. But the problem is inside of my behavior tree, this is my wrong one, let's close that. Inside of my blackboard, I don't have that value. I don't have that variable. So inside, I'm going to start, there we go. Let's make things easier and close everything down. There we go. So inside of my behavior tree, when I'm trying to assign this variable to a Blackboard value, it won't let me. So that's what your Blackboard is for. It allows you to transfer from this blueprint, this event graph, this service, the value I've assigned here to a value inside of your Blackboard. So without the Blackboard value, for example, I need to add the new key now, and we'll do this, we'll, we'll call this one, I'll show you how they can be different, player location. If we go back to here, I now have a Blackboard co vector called player location. I now can go into my service and change my player object to be player location. So now whenever the player object is set, which is right here, it's going to set the player location blackboard value which is right here now it seems a little complicated and once we actually once you watch the videos that discuss how these are used not just why we're using them but how we're using them and the different ways of using them it'll hopefully be a little more clear but to sum it back up blackboard holds values behavior tree sets and reads those values inside of services or tasks or decorators that's it so like for example, to show it in task form, we'll do a move to, and you'll see move to player location. And this one's actually pretty simple. If our player live set, we're gonna go ahead and update our player location every half a second, and then we're gonna tell the AI to move to that player location every half a second. So I mean, this is another simple basic AI and an example of how to use our Blackboard and what it's for. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to leave them below.